The A team is back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Danielle and Riley from Downtown OKC Partnership. Great to see you, ladies, again. Good yes, to see you. It's, it's been a while. It has been a while since the three of us have mm -hmm. sat down at this desk and just rambled about various things <laughs> happening here in the downtown area. So, welcome back. Thank you. Thank We're glad you. to be here. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know if you want to throw that out there or not. <laughs> I can leave it right there. And just congratulations. Thank you. I'm getting married. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's fantastic. You. Also, happy birthday to the various people. Oh, yeah. I'm one of them. You're one of yes. them. Uh, you and Stacy, I believe. Yeah. We were just three days apart, so we okay. celebrated oh, two weeks ago. Celebrations yeah. yes. all over the we place. We went to Commonplace Kitchen, and it was such a good setup. It was if a you great. haven't made it in there yet to eat, you definitely need to. It's pretty special. This is where we get to the random conversation, because yes. I have not been in there yet. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Pretty it, good? Yeah. Yes. Yes. They have great coffee so you can get espresso in the mornings and stuff um, and they have some pastries for pickup until 8 30 but then after 8 30 their regular menu starts and they have like um, greens polenta or on toast you can get different things and their avocado toast is amazing pretty good mm -hmm. yeah. cool. yes and we got a fantastic cheese board yes. and wine and all the things. Yeah, it was great. That's how you sell it. It was wonderful. Yeah. That's yes. nice. So then <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and then is dinner a reservation thing, group um, situation? Or? Yeah, dinner is a unique thing there. It's served at seven most days. And it's, um, you arrive then, you call beforehand, uh, make your reservation, and it's like very much family, like mm -hmm. gathering style. Like you're, you feel like you're in somebody's home um, being served a meal. So it's really great. And the menu varies, right? Yes, mm -hmm. they they put it out. I think at the beginning of the week, so sign up for their email. Gotcha. Um, but it but they have things like um, pulled pork tacos, or you can do jackfruit tacos if you're a vegetarian. Um, they do, oh gosh, lots of different stuff. Yeah. Like they'll have like mm -hmm. a Monday night is like a wine cheese like pairing thing. So you're just there having conversation over the most incredible wine and um, cheese boards. Um, but yeah, every day's different. Right now, hatch chilies are really in, so a lot of their stuff has had that in there. Their hummus is incredible, so. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of different things to try, for sure. We ran into each other at brunch a few weeks ago, and I was having breakfast tacos, and you had the pan cake. Pan yeah, it was cake. like a pan <laughs> cake. So right. it was yeah. like, not a pancake, but a Cake. Do they call it a, ba a baby something? I forget. Oh, a Dutch baby? Dutch baby is what I'm thinking of. No, but of. that's different. That's this, different. This was like, if you made a pancake thick enough to where it was in like a sheet of, like a, if you were baking like a sheet cake, um, but there's like blueberries in it and stuff. Yeah. It was really, really incredible. And they put syrup on top of it. It was great. Huh. Yeah. You need yeah. to go. You, I'm really hungry now. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm thinking like, too. Where we're are taking we going to lunch? Right before lunch. <laughs> I know. They have visions of what will be for lunch. Speaking of new places um, and perhaps some coffee, uh, Stella Nova you mentioned is underway under construction maybe mm -hmm. uh, right around the corner here in downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Robinson and Park, that corner there, there used to be a retail shop there. It's getting turned into a great coffee shop. So there's going to be another great coffee option downtown. Um, they already have like the lights and everything in, so all the crews are in there working. So I don't think it'll be too long before we see some signage and maybe an, an open date announcement. Mm -hmm. We have one still in Nova location already up on Western, right? Yeah, right. Northwestern. Um, I don't know the cross street, but like between like 63rd and south, 50th. South of yeah. 50th, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you have it. <laughs> We're downtown there. OKC. I don't know where the one is. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Western app, we know. Just kidding. Well, if you go to downtownokc.com, you will see various yes. things happening, uh, including this Deep Deuce Director's Cup Cut, uh, which is Friday, September 14th. And I see some Breakfast Club action there. Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow night, can't believe it. So it was supposed to be last week, but the rain just kept us out. And it was raining all weekend, so it was best that we rescheduled it. Um, so it's going to be tomorrow night. It starts at 8 o'clock. And then we're hoping for the actual movie to start at 8.30, just, you know, depending on when the sun's setting. But there. Ju there's not just going to be the movie so there's going to be a popcorn bar um and but it's gourmet popcorn it's not like everybody <laughs> just going in with their hands and stuff i don't know it's like because that sounds kind of gross really <laughs> yes honestly it's they'll be like, serving it yes. yes yes we'll be clean we got like english toffee popcorn Ooh. white cheddar salted and buttered salted caramel all the things it's going to be amazing and then we're also having a donut wall and That's i <laughs> yes, 
if you can picture a wall of donuts. I can. Yeah. So I, you know, a lot of people have them at like weddings and events like that, but it's like this wall of like plywood and it has like all these pegs in it and then donuts like sit on the pegs. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Yeah. So Bell Kitchen is providing the donuts for that. So that was a nice touch to have them since they're in the district. Um, and then Deep Deuce Grill will have like their full menu available for purchase. There's also going to be like some beer trough set up like by the movie on the field we'll be in uh, for purchase as well. And then Embark is one of our sponsors for this event and they are featuring their Cirque bus and it's the just the new route that goes like through Deep Deuce and Auto Alley so really okay. geared towards the residents so they're gonna have their bus out there for people to check out it's newly branded and it's really it's cool yeah if you're familiar with the downtown discovery mm -hmm. um, route so they've rebranded that and it's gotcha. now called Cirque um, and it, it's gonna serve eventually as an expansion to Deep Deuce from like if you were on a streetcar um, route you could hop on to a circ bus and go and kind of have like an extended route if you needed it so it's pretty cool yeah, yeah. and so um, at their little booth they'll have set up that's where the donut wall will be well we're also doing like a pick your click so people can come <laughs> dressed as like the basket case the criminal the princess gotcha. the yeah. Athlete. Athlete. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, like the, uh, and of the, the brain. Club. Yes. yes. Um, and so a funny thing we have, you might have seen it on our social media. We got these really big head cutouts. Oh, no. um, were they? We put them on social, didn't we? Uh, I think it was on our Insta story, though. Okay. Oh yeah, it might not still be live, oh, but we'll post it. Yeah. We'll post it again. So there are these big <laughs> heads that people can like take photos with and just have fun. And we got some cool deep deuce keychains and koozies. So there's there's gonna be a lot to do. And it's free. It's free. Everything's mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. And it's outside, so bring your own chair, bring your own blanket. We're going to be kind of on this like sloped hill and deep deuce. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's a good location for this. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. So that's coming up Friday night around 8 o'clock or whenever you arrive mm -hmm. um, for all the action there yep. in the deep deuce area. A couple of things happening in October. Brick or Treat, which is also in that mm -hmm. sort of deep deuce-ish brick town it's more Bricktown area. It's definitely Bricktown. Yes. The more I thought about that, I was like, actually, it's not Deep Deuce at all. It, it's it is, adjacent. As yeah. it says, yeah. Just Brick or Tree. Oh, look at that. Look at the little kiddos. Oh, this event is so sweet. There's a ton of people that There's go to that, There's a ton too. of people. We have anywhere from like seven to 10,000 people come out for this, and we have around 40 participating businesses, which is huge. This is our, you know, largest yeah. district, and... Um, yeah, and they dress up and yes. like hand out candy to all the little kids that are dressed out. Those are the Odyssey yes. kids. That was cool. I didn't see them last year. Yes. So, um, so we have so we reach out to the businesses and we say, hey, we're offering this event, um, and then they agree to participate and they hand out candy and their staff dresses up and. Yeah, we have like inflatables and a photo booth. Seems and like there was some pumpkin decorating or yes. carving or something. Yeah, so as we partner well. with Pino's Palette. So okay. they come and set up on the third base plaza right out there at the ballpark. There and it is. yep, we do free <laughs> pumpkin painting. Nice. Yes, we order like a thousand pumpkins. Oh, and the thunder drummers. And oh, it's so cute. Yeah, this is my favorite time of year. Mm -hmm. And this is also my favorite event. So, yes. and like the weather has always just been perfect. Yeah. And, um, so it's on a Monday night, so October 29th, and it's from 4 to 7. So it's right after kids get out of school, just come down to Bricktown, um, and then just walk around the district, and it's a, it's a great time. It's a fun event. It's well mm -hmm. done. It's also a very safe environment. Or it felt like a safe environment that everybody's there for the same mission and yeah. very community oriented. Yeah, well, thanks. And now that streetcar construction is nearing completion, I think it'll be an even more enjoyable experience. And yeah, yeah it'll be a good event. Again, that's Monday, October 29th, the Brick or Treat. It's not in Deep News, it's in Bricktown. <laughs> uh, however, on October 20th, there's the Midtown Walkabout. Yes. Sorry, I feel like I'm talking all no, the time. No, you're good. These um, are your <laughs> so the Midtown Walkabout, it got a little bit of a facelift. So it used to be that red and blue look, and now we've changed it to some purple and got some new branding. Um, so this is going to be our sixth Midtown Walkabout, which is crazy to say. Um, so this is our fall one happening on October 20th, 2 to 6 p.m. Essentially, you're going to see the kind of same things, live music, face painting, um, a, a lot of fall-themed activities for the kiddos. and. This is where businesses also participate and they offer specials and promos and then we program kind of the empty spaces in between those areas 
but excited to feature the new bocce courts. Yeah. So at our last Midtown Walkabout, we did a pop-up bocce court um, because this was coming, you know, just a few months later. So now that it's officially here, I think it's going to be a huge yeah. hit to the event. So, and it's a good chance to get out and see those restaurants and those retail mm -hmm. shops that you you haven't been to in a while, or maybe there's a new one there that you haven't seen. There's always new retail coming mm -hmm. in, in Midtown and in Auto Alley. So, um, come out just to to shop and get some free goodies mm -hmm. while you're there. Mm -hmm. Two to six yep. p.m. on Saturday, October twentieth, for the Midtown Walkabout. A couple other things to mention: uh, Pumpkinville. Speaking of pumpkins, mm -hmm. yeah. Another Pumpkins uh, everywhere. fall everywhere. favorite, yeah. Um, Pumpkinville comes back this year. They open October 5th. Um, they bring in 16,000 plus <laughs> pumpkins at the Myriad Gardens, and they transform their children's garden into, I think they're doing like a New England town oh, theme this cute. year, so it's going to be adorable. Um, it's completely free if you're a Myriad Gardens member, and if, it's, and if you're not, it's only $8. And then they also have the Spooky Pooch Parade that is going to be um, <laughs> later that in October. So um, mm -hmm. if you have your furry friends, bring them out for that. Um, I think it's 10 or $12 to enter for the parade, but it is adorable to watch <laughs> for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. I believe Leslie has told us that the carousel is supposed to be up and running mm -hmm. during this as well. Yes. So she, every time I see her, she keeps saying, we're so close, we're so close. So they have I think they're pretty close. The, sur yeah. <laughs> the saran wrap is like, the packaging is off of the the, the animals finally and she's featuring them on their Instagram so I'm I'm excited to finally ride that I think it's for adults too because I'd like to ride a carousel absolutely <laughs> sure. I think that'll be a great addition and a great location for it uh, over at the children's area yeah, of the Myriad Gardens it's great. Mm -hmm. all right one other thing to mention this uh, the parking garage mural over on the west side of downtown yeah the West Village parking garage it went up in the past year or so um, there's a lot of development having, happening up over there, and so there is a great parking garage um, that people are gonna be able to utilize, but it needs some art on it. Mm -hmm. So we, Downtown Oklahoma City Initiatives, have partnered with um, Jones Avenue Partners, and they are funding um, a mural. So we're doing a request for proposals. So if you're an artist, um, an architect, a designer, um, send in your proposal. It's due October 15th. Um, it's gonna be a $40,000 budget. So, of course, that's huge. There's two sides of the garage that they're doing. Um, and so they're open for collaboration. Like if you and another artist want to collaborate or if you're a designer and you wanna collaborate with somebody who's a painter, um, we're kind of open for whatever. Um, but, it's a big space. I'm yeah. looking at the website. You guys have done a nice job of outlining the dimensions here. It's the south wall on Sheridan's uh, 30 foot by 40 foot and the west wall over on class and 88 feet by 40 feet yeah mm -hmm. it's that, like to, to huge. me that sounds like a, a big canvas it's like mm -hmm. over 4,500 square feet total um, so it's it's big it's gonna be a big impact for people coming in from downtown off of um, Sheridan Avenue um, so that's just gonna be right when you enter into downtown on film row mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be great exposure for whoever gets selected, and so I think we're really excited to see the proposals that are submitted. Mm -hmm. So that deadline, uh, October 15th, uh -huh. and it looks like uh, perhaps in the spring is when the project can be completed. Would you guys ever tackle something like that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't have the talent to grab the spray cans or whatever and go after it. But I'm scared of heights. I think you could design it <laughs> so you could partner with an artist because she's got she's got really great design eye. So. <laughs> but yeah. I don't. I don't, don't try and pretend on like I could be an artist. No, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of work, and I yes. totally admire the people mm -hmm. who do it for a living. And yeah. we do have some nice murals down here, and there's a lot of skill involved. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm really excited to see mm -hmm. what comes. I think good. we're going to have some really great submissions. So, yeah. so on the way out, uh, we talk about scooters. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have ridden the scooters, right? Yes, we have. Yes. We like them. Do, we do you have like a them. preference, bird or lime or just whatever's nearby? They Comment. both have their pros and cons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have not ridden either one. We had a couple reporters race in front of the Oklahoma a couple weeks ago. Oh, There's that's one funny. that's faster than the other. I want to say maybe the lime is faster. I feel like the lime has a little bit more throttle, like a little more get up and go. But the bird, I... Looks like I, he's doing chicken right there. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bigger fan of the, the tires on the bird. Yes. Yeah. They're they're a little different. Like I think the line bike ones are like more of like a hard rubber and I think the bird ones may have like 
actual air in them because there's like the ride is a little bit smoother. Hmm. Oh wow, you guys are serious. That is hilarious. <laughs> there's even a flag guy that was like, can go. Yeah, clearly. So the lime the, went. The lime. So was this the, when away. lime first launched? I think so. Okay. Or within a week after they first came out. The so. lime skitter. It's, it's nothing but hardcore journalism. Well, and like I was riding a bird just around the neighborhood and you the more you push the faster you're gonna go at the beginning so, yeah 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 so oh. also it depends on how much charge maybe is in one of the yes. devices right yes well and because i was on a lime a few weeks ago and it was like said it had like 50 percent charge but it it died very quickly gotcha they're, you know, are very unofficial, yes. Yes. anecdotal yes. reviews. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, yep. It's completely unofficial returns here. Uh, however, you see people riding them all the time, and they always have smiles on their faces. Yes, yes. it's really fun. I, I, I walk it to work most days, and seeing somebody in full suit mm -hmm. or dressed in high heels, <laughs> gleaming like, with happiness, like yeah. just going yeah. down this like from work going home is like the best view. Like even from somebody yeah. who's not on one, I enjoy seeing the happiness that they're bringing to people mm -hmm. riding them. So it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I rode one to like a meeting a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I did it this week. How did I forget? Yeah, I had a meeting on uh, Tuesday and I rode it from the office to very nice. <laughs> you don't I have saw. to worry about parking. You exactly. just hop off. Mm -hmm. that, and if you're in a hurry and there's one right there. Something to be said, but I did see a lady on Northwest Expressway once. Oh, yeah. with one? Oh yeah. Gosh. You're just like, like how did this set in, in, geez. I saw one in Tinseltown. So, like, I think people were getting really creative when they first dropped, um, yeah. just trying to test their boundaries. So, yeah, people, I think they're staying pretty much in the court now. See what I mean by kind of a rambling, all over the place conversation? <laughs> we're just things. catching up. That's right. And there's a lot to catch up on, a lot happening down here. And again, you can find more information right there on that website at downtownokc.com. Ladies, appreciate your time as always. Thank Thanks for you. having us. Great to see you, Paige. Good job on the production. <laughs>